Celestial Blessings, my name is Helen Dimitri and today I'm going to talk about give and take. Now, a lot of people say to me, I give and I give and I give and I give and I never get anything back. And there is a, a many reasons it could be um, why you don't get anything back. The one thing is, is that you've let people know that it's okay to just take and take and take from you without giving anything back. See, people say, you know, well, I give unconditionally, etc., etc., but this is not right. There has to be a balance of give and take. And if you've got somebody um, into the routine, into the habit of just taking and taking and taking off you, then they think, well, they don't want anything back. They've told me they don't mind giving and giving and giving me something. So it's okay if I don't have to give back. I don't have to bother to give this person anything back. Now the thing is, when you do this, you've caused yourself a lot of um, heartache and hard work. What we need to do is we need to set boundaries. We need to say, okay, I've got no problem to give, uh, but I want back. I want to have the, the um, situation of give and take. There's no balance if somebody's just giving and giving and giving. Now let's go back to the other type of giving and taking where a person believes that they're giving and giving and not getting anything back. Are you sure that you're not getting anything back? Is it because you're not getting what you want, a specific thing back, that you believe that you're not give, getting what you, you want? The thing is, if we don't tell people what we want, not everybody's a mind reader. We can't expect everybody to know exactly what we want or what we expect them to give us. They may be giving it to us, but because it's not what we want, we, we believe it to be, they're giving us nothing. So we really need to state to other people, look, I'm going to give and I want back. I, I'm not going to give and give and you're not going to give back and you're just going to take because there's no balance. And if I give you something, I want the same thing back, you know, or I want this certain thing back. But sometimes we should just um, rejoice and celebrate the energy of receiving what somebody decides to give us. You know, it's like, for example, I know this may seem materialistic, but um, if my husband, um, he wants to buy me a present for my birthday or Christmas, etc., and he'll say to me, you know, what do you want? And I'll say, I don't want you to give me what I want. I want you to choose something that you want to give to me because that makes me happier because it means that they've thought about it, they've contemplated it, um, they've spent time uh, thinking what they would want to give to me, what they would want me to have. Okay, it's different if I need things like clothes or whatever. Yeah, I have to go and get it myself or whatever, but when we're talking about give and take, we don't always realize that we are being given back things, but we, we don't see it because it's not that thing that we want. So next time, if you feel that you're in a situation that you're giving and giving and giving, step back and ask yourself, am I getting back, but I don't recognize it because it's not in the form that I want? Or have I set myself up for the other person to believe through fault of my own that I'm just going to give and give and give and give unconditionally and not expect something back because I'm sorry but there is conditions you know we are humans that need to share we need to give and take we need to have the um, the energy of giving and taking of transferring and receiving because that is how we work together we're not here as just one person we're here um, as partners as groups of people and each of us need to give and take to keep the balance so thank you for watching have a fantastic day bye bye